uh, speech to inform you guys that one of the most experienced people I know. And uh, this is Joe Dirt. Alright? <coughs> He's a janitor and I live in Los Angeles. Um, the radio station, he's around like 30 years old. Um, he's a pretty sweet mullet. And uh, eventually throughout his life, he's a, um, to ask, tell a story on a on radio station. Um, he was lost when he was eight years old. Um, he goes through football, foster care after foster care, and he gets bullied all his life. Eventually, he finds a pretty hot girl, and um, her dog, um, Brandy and Charlotte, and uh, for, for her, like, his first friends he's really ever had in his life. Um, but eventually, Randy's alcoholic dad shoots and kills Charlie because he didn't um, help the dad out because he got stuck in the train tracks and just shot him when he came home. Then Charlie makes Joe realize that he needs to start finding where his family is because he misses them. Looks up the moon one day and he says he wants to go find his family. Um, his first idea was to hire an Indian tracker to take the kicking wing. <laughs> Uh, he finds out that um, they no longer track people or anything. Chicken Wing actually sells fireworks, but he only sells six of sparklers because it's the only ones he likes. And uh, Joe Dirt tells him that that's wrong. He should uh, sell more exciting and uh, cool fireworks. And then when they're selling the fireworks or whatever, they think what they find is a uh, atomic bomb. And Joe Dirt makes this cool idea to go to the bus station from, uh, from Grand Canyon and say, chuck, chuck to his back and say he's gonna blow the whole place up. They don't give him the papers of all the people who were on the buses that day. But what he didn't know was that actually that, what he thought was a atomic bomb, was a septic tank. And food went all over his body. And they felt bad for him, so they gave him the list of all the people. So he's going down the list to find the people on the bus to get any answers. And he runs to the guy named Buffalo Bob. And Buffalo Bob puts him down in a little sewer and starts to go telling him to um, put lotion all over his skin and try to uh, do all the stuff for him. Because later on he finds out that they want, he wanted to skin him and wear his, wear his uh, skin as a coat. And uh, after the police come, he finds pictures of his parents' car with their license plate from Louisiana. And then um, he gets a job at an alligator farm, and he uh, almost gets eaten by a huge alligator. And with like all the trauma from that, he remembers his parents are from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He goes down to Baton Rouge, and he uh, finds his parents moved out of his old house. And he finally realizes that his home all along was great at her old house. He goes back, and one of Brady's old friends tells Joe, that he, she never wants to see him again. So during that part of the, of the um, radio show, the guy calls Brandy and asks him what's going on. And she, Brandy says that his parents were dead the whole time. He didn't look at him. Joe becomes famous and uh, starts going to all these big TV shows and everything like that. And he goes on TRL and some lady calls and says that is his mother. And she's been there the whole time. And she says a famous quote that she always said, and uh, he knew it was her and rushed to her house. He comes to find out that all his parents wanted him for was their money, was his money, and because he's famous now. And, and the whole time they left him at Grand Canyon on purpose because they didn't want him. Joe, he tries to kill himself. The guy jumped off the building. And then uh, Brady actually comes and tells him that she loves him and she wants to marry him. And then they live happily ever after with all their friends, all the friends who met along the way. Just remember, guys, watch the garden. Thank you.